Hello, real quick here. It was a great year for Porcini, and I had a Russian friend bring me in a whole bunch of them. But when I took a look at the Porcini, I was like, what are these? They didn't look like Porcini that I pick in Minnesota that grow with oak trees at all. So she had been picking her Porcini with red pine, and the pine Porcini here have a red flush to the stem, the cap's a little more kind of burnt orange bronze uh, compared to the brown cap that uh, I typically see around oak porcini here. And the stem doesn't seem to be as kind of bulbous and fat or kind of squat as the oak porcini either. Probably the most interesting thing and why I'm going to go back and look for more of these is that the resistance they have to bugs and larvae and worms that everyone hates, of course, is way better than the oak porcini species from my experience. I mean, if you've picked a porcini with oak, you know, even when they get to be this stage, they can just be saturated with worms. And I don't know if it's the acidulated soil or what's going on, but even these guys that were a little more mature really show some solid resistance. Another one of my friends who is really active in the mycological society said that the holes here where usually you know you're gonna think oh that's a bunch of worms he said that with these the pine porcini the holes don't necessarily mean that they're wormy he says that it's part of the natural striation in the flesh of the stem I don't know if he's right or wrong, but I thought it was interesting. And yeah, again, I was picking these with red pine in northern Minnesota, but my Russian friend was picking them in kind of southern Minnesota right around the Twin Cities. So there you go. I suspect these are probably related to Boletus panophilus. Uh, but again, I'm not a mycologist. But there you go, pine porcini.